A philosophical question. This is a picture taken by the late, great Doc Edgerton. My question is, does that bullet have a velocity at the instant shown in that picture? Talk to your neighbor. Does that bullet, yes or no, have a velocity at the instant shown in that picture? If we were to vote, some of you would say yes, some no. Let me ask it a different way. Suppose that this bullet had a speedometer, a speedometer, just right in the side of it. When Doc Edgerton took this picture, would the reading on that speedometer be zero or something different? Something different, okay? And that something on the speedometer we call the instantaneous velocity. Actually, it would be the instantaneous speed. When you combine it with the direction, it becomes the instantaneous velocity. Now, Doc Edgerton, how many of you have heard of Doc Edgerton before? Okay. Doc Edgerton is not, not a real doctor. Well, he's, he's dead, but when he was alive, he was not a real doctor. He dropped out of MIT. He dropped out of his graduate program, and that makes him way smarter than me. Because when you sign up as a grad student at MIT, you sign a legal document that states that if you come up with an earth-shaking idea that's going to revolutionize the world, that idea belongs to MIT. So if you come up with an idea late at night with two of your friends, what you do the next morning is you go down to the registrar's office and you drop out. Around Boston, there's a Route 128 that's just littered with high-tech companies that were started up by, by dropouts from MIT. They're the successful ones. Those of us that ended up graduating, we, we, we didn't have any ideas. We, just, <laughs> we couldn't think of anything. <laughs> now, Doc Edgerton, late at night, came up with the idea of the strobe uh, with two of his friends. The next day, they dropped out of MIT, and they started up the company EG&G. He's called Doc Edgerton because his, his company was huge. They created a lot of the technology that helped us uh, win the war, Second World War. Now, um, Doc Edgerton took that money and built some of the most beautiful buildings on MIT's campus. In exchange, they gave him an honorary doctorate they also gave him a big, huge lab on the third floor of the Infinite Corridor for him to do his research. Now, the Infinite Corridor, this is not going to be on the exam, but the oldest building on MIT is a great big long hallway called the Infinite Corridor. And it's set up such that on the solstice, when the sun sets, it shines right down the corridor. So on those solstice, the MIT students, they line up on both sides and they watch the sun set and shine up. That's their religion. That's a geek religion, okay? <laughs> geek religion. Anyway, um, this is Doc Edgerton. I was hurrying down that infinite corridor. I was late for a physics class one day, and suddenly we heard Doc Edgerton's booming voice. Everyone stand still. I'm turning off the lights. Boom, it was dark. And we all had to just sit there in the dark because he was dropping milk drops down this, uh, this staircase from the third floor and uh, making this picture of the crown of milk. And so anyway, uh, these are some of the pictures that Doc Edgerton has made with his stroke. Quick other story. I have a younger brother who became a corporate lawyer for pharma Pfizer Pharmaceutical. A millionaire, very, very rich. Anyway, he came to visit me at MIT wearing his standard lawyer three-piece pimp suit. Anyway, <laughs> he looked the lawyer part. And I took him up to uh, Doc Edgerton's uh, lab on the third floor of the Infinite Corridor. And Doc Edgerton had the most wonderful displays. And you push the button, and all these waterfalls came out, and the strobe came on, and the water went back. It was just amazing. 
And my brother was way out of his comfort zone, and he was, he was just afraid to, to admit that he didn't understand. So he's just going down this hall looking at the different uh, cases. And all of a sudden I heard Doc Edgerton's booming voice, Did you push the button? You can't learn anything unless you push the button. And the next thing I know, Doc Edgerton had his arm around my brother, and he was dragging him from display case to display case, teaching him physics. <laughs> and that's my happy place. <laughs> that's where I go. <laughs> uh, did you push the button? It's instantaneous velocity. <laughs>